Today, we're going to take a look inside the account of a 1.3 billion power player who is on track to becoming the strongest player in Rise of Kingdoms. What's going on, guys? Cheers. This is Moo Jagger, aka Yoda808, aka Farmwell808, aka Justin. Right now, he's sitting at 1.3 billion power. He's about 80 million power away from Maverick, who is currently still the highest power player in the entire game. And yes, that does mean that he already has has more power than Baba. Justin has been kind enough to show us around his account, his items, his commanders, his equipment, and later in the video, he answered some frequently asked questions that he gets all the time in Rise of Kingdoms. So make sure you stay tuned. And if you enjoy account overviews like this, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton. So let's just jump right into it. And as you can see here, when he actually filmed this video, uh, he had 1,289,000,000 power. He has been increasing power for kvk now he does have 4.5 billion kill points which is honestly on the lower end for a player of his power especially if you look at somebody like baba for example who has like what 30 billion kill points but we will see later in the video that uh, justin has been playing the game for a much shorter amount of time than baba and i'm excited to see what his kill points look like after the next couple of kvks because his account is starting to get to the point where he really almost has maxed out everything and yeah he can really start to slay all right let's go ahead and click play here his highest power ever is whatever it is right now he's got about 59 and a half million dead troops now if we take a look at the commander view you can see here that we do have the Boudica as the drill master we have YSS down here as the night head so I'm assuming he's going to be using some sort of garrison mixed garrison with Theodora or perhaps he anticipates taking some city rallies and having these two on his wall he also has henry v in the charge captain slot so we do know here that he is anticipating using some really op archer rally marches and he's got zhang yu as the ranger over here not really sure what that's all about but hey it is what it is so we can pause here on the troop details screen you can see here that he has a pretty even breakdown of everything he has 40.8 million tier 5 infantry 40.8 million tier five cavalry and 40.8 million tier five archers now he is germany so he does have the tier five special unit for cavalry he has about 800,000 tier five siege not entirely sure what the strategy is there perhaps he just i mean he, he could just train whatever he wants or it doesn't matter what he's gathering with so he might as well gather with the best stuff he can gather with and it is what it is he also has 77 tier one horses just so we can go ahead and collect stuff quickly on the map i guess grab and whatnot and you can see here that his total number of units is 123 million that's all tier five and that is equivalent to 1 billion 232 million total troop power absolutely ridiculous my entire account has 91 million power he has more troops then i have power what i love it i love it all right let's keep it going let's see what we got here in this account you can see here he is flexing his zenith of power skin there's literally only one account in the game that has more power than him so like i, I can't imagine he ever has lost his zenith but i also want to point out look in the top right corner he has two million seven hundred and sixty four thousand gems guys twenty five thousand gems is about a hundred dollars here in rise of kingdoms so that is a war chest of gems that is like i can't even fathom i don't even i don't even understand like that is like how do you even spend that many gems what do you what do you do does he just gem troops like how does that even work i don't is that just for clearing his hospital when he's fighting in wars like i i don't even i i like it looks fake like it almost looks like this is hacked or photoshopped but that's like actually how many gems he just casually has on his account right now now as we zoom in here to his city i just want you guys to notice that he's using his blacksmith to produce bones like like the animal bones i honestly don't think i've ever produced a single animal bone in the blacksmith before like this is i have 2500 of these just from casually playing the game and he's over here manufacturing them on purpose as a literal meme like he doesn't this is negligible to him he he just straight up buys the materials when he needs them within the cash shop like it, this is just a joke to him this is all just a big joke all right moving on to his resources you can see here that he has more of the one hundred VIP tokens than he does any other resource he has enough VIP tokens here in his inventory to get you to VIP 18 like 
four times over maybe even more than that I don't even remember how many it takes to get to VIP 18 because I'm not even close it looks so clean but it's absolutely stacked like he has everything that he possibly needs here and it's like what what does he even really need resources for like he has basically an unlimited number of troops if his hospital is overflowing it doesn't really matter it's not like he needs resources to heal them down and of course he's not short on resources either he has 13 billion food 7 billion wood 6 billion stone and 12 billion gold like he's doing just fine ladies and gentlemen in the resource department I dare you to try to plunder the resources that he actually has in his storehouse now he did tell me that his speed ups are pretty scarce right now because he did just train like 250 million power for kbk so you can see here that he's basically used all of his training speed ups obviously he is completely stacked on building and research speed ups they can release tier six units tier seven units tier eight units it doesn't matter he'll never run out you can see here he does have uh, some healing speed ups definitely I mean 10,000 hours like that's that's crazy right there okay he does have a, a very solid amount of healing speed ups as well and you could see here the universal speed ups is is a uh, pretty decent I would say okay 26 days just straight up just chilling there right at the bottom he's got about a year's worth of speed ups in just the one hour universals alone so yeah my man is big chilling I think he's ready for war I think he'll do just fine especially because when things start to hit the fan he's probably just going to max purchase all the bundles in the shop anyway so realistically the fact that this uh this might be relatively low by his standards I think he's I think he's gonna be okay guys what do you think now in the boost section you could see here that he actually doesn't have any of the 50,000 expanded training probably because he just spams those every single time that he needs to win an event he has 405 of the 20,000 training reserves I think like honestly his gems he, the, the main thing that he probably buys with gems I wouldn't be surprised if he just max purchased the VIP shop every week just because he can like the amount of gems that he would be spending on this is negligible compared to the amount of gems that he has and recharges throughout the week on average but yeah he has 194 days of peace shields and 31 of the three day peace shields he could protect his city for basically ever at this point you can see 533 of the 50 percent expansion and 288 of the 25 percent expansion like what on earth is this account boys like he can pop one of these every four hours for like the rest of his time playing the game oh my god that's that's actually such a flex there I love it all right now we can take a look in his equipment section and this is where things are starting to get real pricey boys and girls okay you can see here that he's obviously done some crazy crafting because he does not have very many pieces of equipment uh and he is again going into kvk so this is his account is so much younger than than accounts like baba where he's actually still building up his equipment and that just is a testament to how fast he's gained power like that is just he has gained so much power in the last like year it's absolutely ridiculous so he has a sacred dominion he does have the talented rifle of the hellish wasteland over here on his nevsky two talented cavalry helmets and two non-talented one is just chilling on his Minamoto presumably to just rally barb forts like he literally just has legendary gear chilling on a PVE commander just for fun absolutely ridiculous let's move on here to the chess pieces you can see that we do have four uh cavalry legendary cavalry chess pieces two of which again are talented and he has two non-talented I don't know what I mean I'm sure we're gonna see more about his commanders later but it looks like he uses Zhang Yu and Nevsky separately both as primary commanders because otherwise there would be no reason for this it looks like he also uses Attila separately as well so it's not like he's doing an Attila Nevsky I'm really curious to see what his armies actually look like here because typically with Nevsky you either see Attila Nevsky or Nevsky William or Zhang Yu Nevsky and here it doesn't look like we see any of those things with his Nevsky unless he's just moving his equipment around not really sure but again we have four sets of the legendary boots here for cavalry two again of which are talented and we can move on we're looking now at uh infantry equipment you could see the Zenobia with the talented shield absolutely incredible and if you do use the legendary shield you do want it talented so that is a that is a Kraken level piece right there five sets of infantry helmets one of which is leadership talented just for his YSS because he is just big ball and he could do whatever he wants that's right he picked a leadership talent on an infantry helmet before he got a second infantry talented 
infantry helmet i love to see it such a flex i don't know what is constantine doing here with uh with a, with a helmet like what we got gear on constantly was he using a constantine primary four i don't know man but it's actually insane and also we don't see any uh infantry equipment on let's say a pakal for example so that's also really interesting wondering what his commanders look like can't wait to take a look moving on we'll take a look at uh the the gloves here you can see two talented infantry gloves as well also one of them is on constantine again not really sure what's going on there hopefully we have answers because in season of conquest this is absolutely not really uh a commander you're gonna see too much or should be using too much although honestly anything on his account uh probably will decimate you in the open field if it has all talented gold gear it doesn't really matter what the secondary is his constantine's probably overpowered okay your constantine sucks but his constantine popping off okay we got five of the legendary infantry boots again one of which is uh leadership talented so really he is uh he's going all in on a leadership set here which is absolutely savage and honestly that's a pretty good play if you do plan on having a mixed garrison for a flag or for a pass for example uh there's going to be just no getting through that yss uh without like absolute ridiculous rallies and reinforcements for many many hours if justin decided to hold a pass on his own he probably can i'm not kidding uh it would be truly truly incredible to see him hold a pass all by himself because i really do think his account probably could do it okay moving on uh to the archer gear we see five of the dragon breath bow absolutely incredible we do see one of which is talented for the yss we see the talented one is of course on Boudica, who is presumably who would be leading the rallies that he is going to be using it does also have an iconic crystal here which is absolutely incredible he has four of the dragon breath helm again one of which has a crystal and is also talented on his Boudica, which is just, I mean, look, even Artemis is popping off over here with some nice, nice gear. Okay. We see, uh, what is this? Four of the Dragon's Breath chest pieces. One, again, one of which is talented with the iconic crystal. So this Boudica is going to cut through anything like a hot knife in butter. Like it's just, there's going to be nothing that is going to stand up to this Boudica. Truthfully, I think this is, he probably has one of the strongest rallies in the entire game because honestly, most players have a strong infantry garrison. And when you see this Boudica coming at you, like, what are you, you what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? Do you have a, you really, you think you have a strong enough Yadviga to go up against this as well? Like it's not happening, boys. It's not happening. This Boudica is going to puncture holes in anything. She decides to hit. She's basically pulling up with an AK 47. She said, forget the bow and arrow we're popping off boys so, bah, 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 bah. moving on we see he has four of the legendary gloves here for archers again talent and iconic crystal on the Boudica and of course the legs again four pieces talent and iconic on Boudica four of the dragon's breath boots talent and iconic on Boudica as well so yeah absolutely ridiculous gear on that Boudica just completely can decimate anything we have five hope cloaks two of which are talented one for Lee leadership on YSS and we do have an iconic crystal in one of them for the Guan Yu which is an incredible piece for Guan by the way great choice there we have uh, what is this five of Navarre's control so that is the uh, cavalry health gloves over here and again we have one of them talented for leadership this is I mean he has such a powerful mixed garrison that it's basically like okay Justin has got this He's gonna hold whatever you put your your troops in like it doesn't matter you could put whatever troops justin is popping off there's nothing you what you're not getting past that yss okay thou shalt not pass the yss is what he said and again he probably has theodora in as the secondary if if i understand his builds correctly we also see a talent and iconic on the gloves for nevsky which is just truly incredible and impressive we have five of the eternal knights one of which talented and iconic crystal on Guan Yu. We do see we have Ash of the Dawn over here, one of which is talented with crystal. The other one is uh, also talented on his Zhang Yu. Truly crazy stuff there. We also see a talent and a crystal put into the Ring of Doom on Boudica. So he loved Boudica so much that he put a ring on it. And honestly, great choice. The damage output of this march is going to be the strongest of March I mean it's got to be truly insane he has three rings in fact two of which are uh talented with crystals the other one on Nevsky 
absolute savagery right there he has two greatest glory one of which is talented for his cavalry he has three of the horn two of which have iconic crystals in them neither of them having the special talent so that is very crazy right there and that just goes to show how hard and how long you have to go to get uh talents on your legendary accessories i mean it it takes so freaking long if you don't get lucky on that first try even a player like this who spends a significant amount on rise of kingdoms uh doesn't even have one right not all of his uh, gear is talented that's just that's crazy okay you can see here we have two daggers um really good choices here I feel like uh, the dagger is better on a more tanky unit so the fact that it's on Zhang Yu I'm not really sure maybe this is good as a rally leader um again not really sure there he did go ahead and buy the trial of the, oh my god what's the I don't even know the name of that spear it's trial of the lost kingdom an actually useless piece basically useless you can't get it talented uh it's basically worse than talented epic weapons uh, but anyway he bought it and he put it on his Tao Tao we see no other gear on his Tao Tao so you could see that he probably just forgot that he even bought that piece and it's just chilling on Tao Tao because why not right I mean this is a piece that you use in like what kvk1 as a well like just because you could just straight up buy it right off the rip he has two Karak war drums oh my god what is going on so this is ladies and gentlemen this is where all of his bones are going he has 10 talented scepter of the forest guardian guys you can only you can't even have 10 gathering marches at any given time he actually just put one on all the gatherers for no reason he just did it because he could do it he just said why not it does it literally doesn't matter he talented all of the scepter of the forest guardian he has more than he knows what to do with so he just said yolo let's do it and i imagine had he continued to uh scroll there we would have seen an entire set of the forest guardian let's be honest you know that's what was there we didn't get to see him scroll down past there but i mean you could already see it here like we, we know what's going on okay for a guy who gets most of his resources from the shop i i'm 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 speechless i'm speechless but it's it's a troll and i love to see it next we can come in here to the other category you can see he has 15 of the leonidas chests just chilling there he has a total of 1650 50 uh targeted teleports here 513 passport pages no matter how strong he is he can decide he can go wherever he wants basically 253 gold keys 31 equipment keys 147 of the uh legendary tavern keys I don't really know why he would be hoarding those unless he did max every legendary in them that's pretty baller of him he uh he does have quite a bit of AP but not as much as you might expect so it does look like he is pretty active on the account going ahead and, and killing barbs and whatnot so that is pretty cool just don't let Lilith see how much AP you have because they may actually continue to nerf it because God forbid you decide to actually play the game Lilith is not happy about people who enjoy playing the game they do like to nerf things like that so just be careful Lilith if you're watching don't get triggered by this okay let's keep it going here we could see he's got tons and tons of experience tombs he's probably max max purchasing living legend I would guess every day at this point uh because it does give you universal gold heads and for someone like him that I mean that's a drop in the bucket as far as a uh, daily spend goes uh, it looks like he do has uh, he does have two skill resets as well and 304 talent resets he basically can he can reset talents every single day if he wants to for an entire year that's actually incredible uh he has 27,000 books of the covenant 46,000 of the arrows of resistance he has eight of this three-day skin where do you even go like he has an abundance of things that I don't even know where you would get eight of them how do you even get eight of those like what like even in the events where you can exchange holiday items for that like I'm pretty sure the shop limits you to one so I I don't know man I have no idea but he's got he's got a lot he's got negative one of these frames here I've seen other accounts that have negative one of these frames I'm pretty sure they like gave these to people for certain a certain event wait no that's actually from the lucerne scrolls i actually have that so i don't know how or why that might be bugged out on his account not really sure what's going on there but yeah 50 universal legendary commander sculptures so he's actually got less than me which means he has definitely gone all in on some commanders and i'm excited to take a look at them here in just a moment Sixteen thousand gold stars just chilling three thousand of the bundles 
uh 1100 of the blessed like no big deal just he can star up whoever he wants forever he actually can max out martel again if you wanted to that's how many martel sculptures he has he's just casually got 21,000 uh relic coins over here and 9,300 museum exhibit coins he basically is just waiting for them to put season two commanders in in the in the in the museum like that's what this is and he's he's just pause champing basically he I mean he's never going to use all those unless the season two commanders cost a significant amount more than season one commanders I have no idea but anyway clearly he has every single exhibit unlocked he also it looks like he has expertise Ragnar as well let's I can't I cannot wait to see his commanders let's 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 move on to the commander section here because this is it okay so you can see here Constantine all gold everything is still using the blue shield on Constantine for all of you who are saying or sleeping on the blue shield you're a fool even players like this use the blue shield with the talent because it is just so dang good baby it's so dang good now of course talented gold shield is better but I can imagine he only has one or two of those so it's probably not priority to put that on Constantine um but it is what it is let's take a look here he obviously has an expertise YSG Cao Cao Richard Minamoto Martel uh, he has an expertise salad and didn't stick at the five 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 one no no he went all the way there for that extra damage factor um he does have an expertise Mehmed as well which honestly is probably something that he could uh he could get good use out of and here you can see only the talented gloves on the Constantine as we go through here you can see he has expertise Mulan Wu Zetian he even expertise Genghis Khan Edward Tamiris Alexander Attila Takeda obviously expertise uh, Guan Yu and Theodora the equipment here on the Guan Yu looking absolutely spicy ladies and gentlemen also with the blue shield so he's definitely at that point where he is fleshing out the rest of his equipment and then he's probably gonna have to go back in and replace that blue shield with a talented gold shield because that's basically the last piece of the puzzle to having the best in slot everything horn and ring also incredible here uh tons of damage on Guan Yu so we love to see that and horn is just going to give you more rage for those AoE skill shots you can see he actually doesn't have Leonidas expertise so that's probably why he's buying the Leonidas dailies so that's pretty cool we do see he has an expertise Ramses and Artemisia expertise YSS Chandra Gupta we do see the William Harold and Zenobia also expertise pretty crazy stuff here let's see this is the leadership gear okay he has a leadership talent on every single piece with the dagger and the pendant the the greatest glory and the dagger the the, the damage coming out of this as a mixed garrison it has got to be overwhelming for basically anybody trying to hit it he uh does have an expertise Yadviga and Zhang Yu expertise a Manatore Honda Nevsky Flavius CPO Henry I mean he just he's maxed out everyone we got Boudica obviously we've got uh Ethel fled we've got Barca and we have El Cid down there as well now look oh baby it's shining like a diamond I love to see look at that equipment boys and girls that is best in slot everything the only thing missing the talent is the horn and my god is that beautiful look at the shine boys that costs more than real gold right there this digital gold costs more than real gold that's that's that is actually incredible that is actually incredible let's keep it moving let's see what what he's got uh on some of his other commanders here I wonder if he used the CPO primary it doesn't look like it and oh my god the second set it, it's like I gotta cover my eyes it's so shiny it's incredible also missing the talent on the horn here I wonder when he does get a talent on the horn who is it who's gonna who's it gonna get first right who's he gonna go for first moving on you can see that we have obviously expertise all of the gatherers not level 60 by the way uh expertise all the gold key commanders except for Thutmose it looks like who recently came into the game so that makes sense um Nebu not expertise Trajan not expertise Gilga not expertise Cyrus also not expertise I am I'm impressed I mean some of these commanders like obviously Moctezuma Lubu Charlemagne these are commanders that obviously you you wouldn't really expertise anyway um Chuk Suleiman not expertise Bertrand not expertise either that is pretty uh pretty crazy stuff for an account like this uh you could just you could see you know how much newer this account is you know if you had his spend over the same period of time uh that you know if his account has been around since Baba for example um his level of spend would be you know he would have maxed out everything basically now if you're wondering what his commander pairs are this is it we have Boudica Henry Guan Yu with CPO Nevsky William he said he uses XY with Honda 
he used to use Chandragupta here but he found that XY with Honda was better he also for the last three pairs here five six seven they are all interchangeable so depending on the situation he might bring Ramses with YSG sometimes he might instead bring as a fifth March his Herald with Alex or he could do Attila Takeda now of course he does also have for his city defense and his uh garrison he has the YSS with Theodora which is what I expected and as we saw earlier uh the Constantine was paired strictly in Canyon with uh Mulan now let's get into the Q&A section of the video because I'm sure many of you guys have questions right the thing about rise of kingdoms that's so interesting to me is not the numbers it's not even really the strategy it's the players it's the people behind the screen that's what's most interesting it's the community here in the game so let's learn a little bit more about Justin but first I'm sure you guys are wondering how much has he spent everyone wants to know that and of course that was one of the first things that I asked him because it was burning inside I had to know do you know how much this account is worth do you know how much you've spent and honestly guys when you're spending as much as Justin does it's it's impossible to really keep track of the cost is not a, not a concern however much he spends he probably doesn't know precisely the value he did give me some daily estimates on how much he spends per day he did also ask me to be less specific which with how much he has spent so I'm going to honor that I'm not going to give you guys any numbers for how much the account is worth because you know I could ballpark it for you guys it is worth a substantial amount I'm sure most of you guys if you've played this game for a while understand that this account is deep into the six figure territory that's as specific as I'm going to get he also did send me these screenshots of just max purchasing literally every single bundle you could see the uh, gems in the top right match the gems that he has on his account you can see his icon up here as well so these are screenshots from him so I will let you guys figure out how much you think this account is worth but uh it's a lot okay it's a lot if we take a look at his consecutive login days you can see that he's logged in every single day for 726 days straight he has never missed a login day before and he did start his account in kingdom 2039 the kingdom was about four days old when he created this account and he said he's just never not logged in every single day since then you could see he is currently in kingdom 1854 so he has migrated around throughout the game and I don't know if his kingdom is recruiting or not he did say that he, they like to keep it more of a close-knit family in the kingdom so please do not bug them about joining the kingdom but you know I'm sure many of you guys want to play with a player like Justin so if you think you are good enough to join their kingdom maybe you can reach out to leadership but probably not right now because I think they're in KVK so no point okay so let's move on to some common questions that he gets asked and he said the most common question is is he a real person or does he work for Lilith and I think that that is probably a question that many of you guys also have because it's almost unbelievable to think about an account like this when you think about how much it's worth and you know how much he has in the account it's like how could you not just straight up work for the game uh, and his answer was he is not a Lilith employee or developer if I were my account would be in much better shape than it currently is so what he's talking about is some of his pieces of equipment like accessories for example aren't talented they don't have a kind of crystals in them right so of course if he worked at Lilith he would just put those things on his account on the back end and be good to go the next question that he gets often is can I help them out with their accounts people ask them basically hey can you just log into my account and, and you know maybe buy a couple bundles for me real quick his answer to this was was quite good uh, he said he would like to help people out but he has employees to pay and bills to take care of so you can imagine again a player like this uh his life outside the game is probably not uh that easy it's probably pretty complicated okay we know for example that Baba is a business owner he I think at this point owns multiple businesses probably has lots of other side projects plus a family so I don't know exactly what Justin does for a living but obviously he does I guess own a business right so that that makes sense there uh and who knows you know when you have this sort of money uh you, you probably have bills that match that level of income as well so yeah makes sense guys do not ask him for for money don't ask him for um you know doing anything on your account the answer is no moving on to the next question why are you in kingdom 1854 and not in an imperium kingdom and his answer was drum roll please 
Uh, I enjoy playing the game with friends and those I consider family. I've played with some of these people since day one. I'd prefer to be in Kingdom 1854 having fun, slowly working on my account for now. And then question number four, will you eventually make the move to a competitive slash Imperium Kingdom? And the answer is yes but only when i feel like my account is ready it probably won't be next season but possibly this season afterwards or later so again as you saw with his equipment for example there are some things that are missing talents there are some things that don't have iconic crystals for example he hasn't maxed every legendary commander right so i think he is waiting to get his account to that point before he moves to an imperium and again he is basically casually playing the game uh, and enjoying his time with his friends you know the people that he cares about in his home kingdom now i did ask him if he has plans on becoming the strongest player in rise of kingdoms right because he's so close and it's like it, it, it like people like him don't come around very often so i wanted to know his motivation right like is he trying to be the strongest player in the game and his answer was you know he doesn't really have a target uh goal or number for his power level that he's looking to achieve any longer at first he wanted to hit 100 million then he wanted to hit 500 million and now it's pretty much let's find out how high i can go mentality then i also asked him like what i should call him and he said justin is fine he's gone through many names that you know he's lost count primarily it's been yoda or farmwell but it changes by season or situation and as you can see here uh his name in on discord is farmwell as well and he has a picture of a little farmer whale so then naturally i asked him why farmwell do people call him a farmer obviously 4.5 billion kill points is a significant amount of kill points if you disagree you're insane but that is not that many kill points compared to other players in his power bracket so maybe people think that because he has so much power he should have more kills who knows uh, basically this was his answer he said during his first kvk2 he was focused more on fighting in zone six and was at the bottom portion for alliance honor so one of the other r4s who obviously didn't fight said i needed to push more honor and i was a farmer not exactly sure how that made sense in his mind but i decided to embrace the name and of course um you know we've seen farmwell here on this channel before he's been in those uh top 10 sort of highest power in the game videos sometimes he comes up as yoda sometimes he comes up as farmwell right now he's moo jagger so he's been around we've talked about him as well and uh, he also is pretty active on uh, in the youtube and live stream community here on this channel and other rise of kingdoms youtube channels so i do want to just take a moment to thank justin for sending me the video of, of his account and allowing me to shed some light on what uh what's going on with him because i do think he probably gets a lot of questions and he probably has a really busy day-to-day -day life so the fact that he took some time out to help me make this video was very generous of him and of course he does also donate to not only my live stream but i've seen him in chiskel's live stream and probably others as well so i just wanted again to say thank you justin for all the support on my channel and for helping me make this video and bring it to you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it because it really does help out the channel a ton comment down below what you think of Justin's account I would love to hear from you guys your thoughts and opinions here from every interaction I've had with Justin he's been just like a genuinely chill dude which is just really cool to see so of course any negative comments down there are going to be removed so just don't also while you're down there subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace